All right, everyone. We're here to show you Mesh Baker. It's a uh, one of my. It's now one of my favorite Unity tools uh, that I've been using. It's perfect for anyone who wants to, who's working with mobile, or WebGL, or and or or is building a game or application that requires uh, really good optimization. Uh, what Mesh Baker does, uh, they basically. Uh, take all your, your assets and then combine them into like one static um, asset. Um, so it's good for like really large scenes that have a lot of draw calls. Um, as you can see here, um, to the top right, if you look at the batches, uh, they're around about 2,000 to about uh, 3,000, depending on where I look, which is, in my opinion, not too high, but you know, if you're optimizing for mobile or WebGL, you might want to lower that number by a lot here. So Mesh Baker um, has had five star support since like 2012. So it's been along for quite a long time. Uh, it's it's basically Unity's best known optimization um, tools. And it works with other pipe um, rendering pipelines such as URP, HDRP, and the standard pipelines as well. So just to reiterate, it reduces draw calls and batch counts. Uh, it basically takes your mesh like if you have like a, like a bunch of meshes and then combine them into like one mesh. All right, so let's look at this scene here. This is a scene I built um, just using Unity assets from the Unity asset store. As you can see here, um, our batch calls are between 2,400 and like 3,000 here. So let's go ahead and use Mesh Baker and uh, see if we can reduce these draw calls here. So if I actually go to the actual scene itself, and you actually look uh, back out and look at the scene, you can see how much stuff I have here um, in this actual scene here. And a lot of these um, building pieces are modular, so they're like individual pieces. And our goal here is just to combine all these to reduce these draw calls here. So the first thing we're going to do, uh, we're going to go ahead to Game Object. Then we're going to go to Mesh Baker, and then we're going to click on Mesh Baker. Now you're going to get an object called Mesh Baker Zero. We're going to click here and go over to our inspector here. Next, we're going to go ahead and take these meshes here. See this? This is the entire city. Minus a couple of uh, buildings here. We'll add those as well. <clears throat> But let's go ahead and add these to the mesh baker. So we're going to grab this and drag and drop it here. As you can see here, it showed you the number of meshes. You click this little arrow here, and it will show you all the meshes that you've um, as you've put in here. As you can see, there's quite a lot. There's quite a lot. All right, next, we're going to go ahead and um, bake these objects. So there isn't too many options you have to do here. It's straight, it'll work straight out of the box if you just hit bake. And this is just, you know, just a really simple bake. Uh, but what I want to do is I want to add the rest of these buildings as well. So I'm going to um, go ahead and add those as well. So, so we're going to go back to Mesh Baker here. I'm going to grab these and add these. So I just added the rest of those buildings too. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and hit bake. And it usually takes a, a couple of minutes here, so you're gonna see this little uh, this little pop-up happen here. And while that's doing its thing, I am gonna pause the video and come back when it's done. All right, now we wanna go over to our hierarchy. You're gonna see a new game job object called Combine Mesh Baker. And that's gonna be the new building meshes. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna to go to our hierarchy and we're gonna to go to our city we're going to close that and then we're going to close these what you're seeing here is the combined mesh made by the mesh baker now if I were to turn this off as you can see they all disappear when I turn it back on they all come back because they're now combined as one now let's look at the draw calls now when we go into the game all right as you can see here our batch calls are significantly lower as you can see it's around about 170 to low to about uh, 111 here so if you want to check out this product 
uh, just go ahead down to the description. I'll put a link in the description. I'll also pin it to the comments below. And so this is perfect for anyone who wants to do mobile game optimization, WebGL optimization, uh, solve problems for large, complex scenes. And it's just a really fast, easy way to optimize your scene really quickly.